Okay, so the next definition we're going to learn about is called the definition of congruent angles. So it's pretty similar to um, the definition of congruent segments where we're switching between them being congruent versus them being equal. So let's say I have angle 1 and it's congruent to angle 2. That thing, that angle is congruent to another angle. But if we're ever talking about an angle having a certain amount of degrees, like it's a measure, <laughs> the measure of the angle is referring to how many degrees are in that angle. So whenever there's an equal sign, whenever you're setting up an equation, you wouldn't use a congruent symbol, you use an equal sign. Um, and so it's not that the angles are equal to each other, it's that the measure of the angles are equal to each other. So if we have angle one is congruent to angle two, we are allowed to say that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two. So sort of like when the equal sign has a hat on, the segments have a hat on, when it doesn't, the segments don't. If your angle, like if the equal sign has the hat on top, like if they're congruent, you don't need measures. If they're equal, you do need measures. So when we're switching between either the angles being congruent and the angles being equal, their measures being equal, or vice versa, if their angles are equal and we're saying that they're congruent, if there's either direction that's going in, from congruent to equal or equal to congruent, that reason, the reason we're able to switch back and forth is that is the definition of congruent angles. If two angles are congruent, their measures are equal. If two angles' measures are equal, then they're congruent. That is what the definition of congruent angles is. So, if you look on the first example, given angle A is congruent, notice that symbol, congruent, um, angle A is congruent to angle B, and the measure of angle A is equal to 37 degrees. So I have a mix of symbols. I have congruent symbols and equal signs. So at some point in my proof, I need to switch from these congruent symbols to an equal sign. My end result will have an equal sign in it. So I'm going to have to switch from congruence to equality, from a congruent symbol to an equal sign. So I'm going to copy on my given. That's always my first statement. Angle A is congruent to angle B, and the measure of angle A is equal to 37 degrees. That is my given. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that congruent symbol. And so if angle A is congruent to angle B, that means that the measure of angle A should be equal to the measure of angle B. And that, the reason I can switch between two angles being congruent and their measures being equal, that's the definition of congruent angles. Man, my touch screen is not love and life today. Definition of congruent angles. So now I have one term. Measure of angle A is my first term. Measure of angle B is my second term, and 37 degrees is my third term. Three starts with the letter T, T for transitive. So my next statement is I can say the measure of angle B has to be equal to 37 degrees. The yellow connects them. I sandwich them together, so the measure of angle B is equal to 37 degrees, and that is the transitive property. And I double check my proof statement. Measure of angle B equals 37 degrees. It checks out. That's the very last statement of my proof. So I'm done. So the big idea is whenever you're switching between angles being congruent and angles being equal or vice versa, their measures being equal, that's the definition of congruent angles.